Welcome to Runs on Redix interview series. I'm Christoph from RDX Works. Today here with Timon from DeFi Plaza. Welcome, Timon. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Really awesome that you had time to come in here. First of all, congratulations on launching your product. Really, Thanks. really amazing, honestly. And yeah, second, obviously of course, we, we think so as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry for interrupting you. So um, also, I wanted to congratulate you to receiving the Babylon Booster Grant. Really amazing. Awesome job there. Um, so maybe you run me through your product. What do you think? Yes, sounds uh, like a plan. Awesome. So um, you can see here, I'm here already on your website. It's defaplaza.net. That's the right one, correct? Yeah, that's the right one. Awesome. So let's start swapping some tokens. Yes. So you can also see my front screen, so I'm not doing anything wrong. And let's go. Where do I go? Uh, you can either click swap, start swapping tokens or launch yes. app. It both goes awesome. to the Radix app. Very cool. So I see I have here the swap widget. Um, and I see you have a token here. What's the utility of the token? Yeah, so DFP2 is our governance token. Uh, it can be used to uh, vote on governance votes. Uh, we've been a DAO for over, I think, two years since we launched. Yep. So any of the major decisions, also whether or not we were going to uh, Radix, is done through uh, governance votes. Um, but DFP2 is also used as an internal uh, LP token. So mm -hmm. instead of XRD, we're using DFP2 in uh, Diva Plaza on Radix uh, uh, to build the pairs. And so to grow DeFi Plaza, uh, more and more DFP2 is needed uh, in Radix Plaza. Uh, and that should have an effect on the price as well. So that I think that's our major utility, besides that you can use it to uh, vote. And of course, if you provide liquidity, your LP tokens are uh, are possible to vote with still. So you're awesome. not losing so, your voting right. Okay, then I would say, let's go and I'm um, get me some DFP too. Nice. Um, so maybe you can run me through the, the whole interface here? Yes, yeah, we try to keep it as simple as possible. So yep. what data do you need when you want to buy a token? How much are you selling? How much are you buying? And the red number here, there's minus 0.5% is the price impact. So mm -hmm. in an ideal situation, that will be zero. Uh, in this case, you get half a percent less, probably because the pairs are not fully in balance. Uh, you see the price that you're uh, uh, by, uh, paying. And then when you connect your Redex wallet on the top right, Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Yes. So you get into yes. the awesome UX of the wallet. I think it's yes. amazing. Coming from <laughs> Ethereum, it's, it's, it's so good, honestly. Yes. Um, so, so here um, we ask for one or more uh, accounts. Yes. You can actually add uh, as many accounts uh, as you would want. And then an account selector appears automatically, uh, Perfect. which really helps so, if you're a vivid the, trader. Nice. So I have a balance here of 746. Yeah. So I'm going to do the swap now for 100 XRD. Yeah. And let's try it. Just so, click swap. Yes, it yeah. tells me. And, and the transaction preview really, really helps. So even if we would make a mistake in our front end, uh, the wallet opens this transaction preview and you know 100% sure that you're getting 191 points something uh, DFP2 in return. You can set your own guarantees. Uh, currently it's set to a uh, hundred percent, but if there becomes a little bit more traffic, you can, uh, you can edit it and then mm -hmm. you can slide to sign and buy some DFP2. Yes. So let me see, let's sign. It's completing the transaction and it's done. Awesome. Here we go. Perfect. So I can, you can view the transaction yes. on the dashboard. Oh, it's completed. Perfect. Oh, it's actually showing everything. Perfect. Welcome awesome. on board. Okay. So then back to your interface. Yeah. Um, second thing I wanted to talk to you about is the liquidity provision. Could you also run me through how to provide liquidity, what it does for me as a user, and what are the risks involved, and how does it yeah. work? Well, here it becomes a little bit more interesting. Um, yeah. Radix Plaza uses the new Calm algorithm. Mm -hmm. um, we learned on Ethereum 
that impermanent loss is one of the biggest threats uh, to providing liquidity. Um, Bancor did a research that showed that I think within the first six months of Uniswap V3, the liquidity providers lost $60 million after wow. fees. Wow. So Uniswap V3 generated $200 million in fees. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Their volume is amazing. And what the problem is that the IL was actually 260 million. Mm -hmm. So the, if you are not a professional trader, ex, especially with concentrated liquidity, it's yeah. highly possible or highly likely even that you're losing money due to impermanent loss. So mm. we started working on a new algorithm that's trying to reduce the risk of impermanent loss yeah. by tr treating trades that increase impermanent loss differently to trades that decrease impermanent loss. So internally, we uh, understand if a trade increases it or decreases it. Yeah. And we use a different uh, pricing algorithm uh, to make it a little bit less interesting, maybe to increase IL and make it more interesting for a trader by offering a better price to decrease the IL. Mm -hmm. um, I think the simplest way to explain it Usually, if uh, the prices stay the same and say, for example, the price goes up by 25%, IL occurs. And yep. then the price needs to go back to the original level to remove the IL completely. But that almost never happens. So with Calm, if it goes up 25% and it goes down by, I think, roughly half with our current settings, the IL dissipates which means that if a price goes up, but it goes up by fluctuating, going up, going down, going up, going down, the price can actually go up in a steady pace where we constantly remove the IL that was generated by the upwards curve and remove it by the downwards curve. I think well, that is the main innovation uh, mm -hmm. of Diva Plaza on Redix, uh, amongst others that we offer single-sided liquidity uh, and, and a few other things, but I think our algorithm really makes a, a big difference for LP providers. And I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, I mean, it's a different kind of improved user experience, I would say. Yeah, so, yeah it's the awesome. LP experience. <laughs> awesome. So uh, how, how do I add liquidity? Can, can you run me through Yeah, it? if you yes. hit add liquidity, yes. uh, we show you an overview of the most popular pairs. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I added quite a bit of ASTRL, uh, that might be because it's on top. Um, yep. But if you add liquidity, yep. you can do that single-sided. So in oh. a traditional pool, you would have to add both ASTRL and DFP2. Mm -hmm. uh, in our case, you can actually uh, choose to only provide ASTRL or DFP2 uh, because mm -hmm. we use single-sided liquidity. Uh, in this case, you have... Uh, 644 left. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm just clicking add. through everything. Yeah. So uh, I, I chose the XRD DFP2 pair because um, I was thinking what you've been talking. So um, I wasn't thinking. So I have both tokens. So I did the standard thing. I went yeah. into the pool where I have both tokens. and But I can choose, actually. Okay. Yeah, so, you can actually choose. Okay, very cool. Then, then let's try something completely different. I do not have any Astro Lesson. And I only want to provide DFP2. Is that possible? Yes. And here there's a small star where we have to explain how this works. You actually have to add a little bit of ASTRL in here. Okay. Single-sided liquidity, fair for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, it's a bit of a technical story. Let's see if I can explain it simply. In, yeah. in traditional pairs, you have token A and token B. Um, yes. and, you, and you need to provide both. And when trading happens, the balances go up and down and it, it stays in balance. The hard part is that if we do that on single sided, you only have A and you only have B, say someone buys token A, that balance goes down and the balance of token B goes up. But it's unfair to the person who provided liquidity only on A because he lost tokens while he is the or she is the person that actually providing the liquidity needed for the trade. Mm -hmm. So Redix Plaza works internally with two pairs. So we have a pair on one side for ASTRL, which yeah. says DFP2 and ASTRL, and we have another pair here. 
Mm -hmm. So if you are buying, and I think in this case, buying DFP2, the balance of DFP2 goes down, but the internal balance of Astral goes up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that if you remove your liquidity, you get DFP2 and ASTRL back. But to keep adding liquidity fair, we actually need to add that little bit of ASTRL as well. Okay. Because so otherwise you would get too many totally, LP Yeah, tokens. it absolutely makes sense. But um, how is this added? So if I click here, add liquidity, yeah. am I automatically... Ah, okay, I couldn't be processed because I no, do not have any. No, because you don't have the AST. Ah, right. that makes sense. Okay, so it, it keeps the pool itself safe. Great. Yeah. Then let's take the other one. And I would say I'm adding... I would like to add more DFP2. Yeah. So, so I'm taking... Um, and here's the same. You need to add 0.04... Yes. So the balance, the pool is slightly out of balance, and that's why. Yes. Add a little bit of. So let's XRD. let's do that. It's absolutely no problem. Can do that. Okay. And I'm getting my proof that I provided yeah. liquidity. Awesome. And I'm going to slide the sign. We created custom LP icons. You very very sexy the... <laughs> let's see let's see let's see i want to see them yeah so so, if you now go to the pool units yeah here yes. you go very cool awesome so and i've also seen i that i can create the pair so yeah. maybe let's let's create a pair i have to have a look on um, what kind of tokens i still have in my wallet give me a second yeah maybe um, you have to yeah we can we can create the gap to a uh, pool for example would that be possible? Is that is that already yeah. possible? Or? I don't think there's a gap pool. You do need a, a little bit of DFP2 to create the pair. And I'm not sure that there's enough in your uh, balance. Mm, Go to gap. I have, I have 50, 50 yeah, DFP2. You need 500. Ooh, we need a little okay. bit of, uh, of liquidity to make sure that pools don't run dry. Yeah. Uh, because that could lead to price uh, uh, manipulation. And we don't want that to happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, Again, then, because of then, the single side of liquidity. No problem. Then we're going to swap. Let me see yeah. if I have still enough. Give me quickly. How much do I need? You said 500? Yeah. So let's go. Awesome. Go. Then I, I'm already proficient, so I'm going to quickly do that. Slide design. All right. And now we can actually create a pair. Awesome. So let me go here. Um, I want to add liquidity. I go to create the pair and let's see now DFP2 or no, I, no I'm, uh, gap. Yeah, yeah, yes, I, I'm taking gap. Oh, okay. It oh, already has someone been created. created. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to add some liquidity. Let me see. Do you already have the thanks token? <laughs> has also been created. Mm. Amazing. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'm uh, surprised. That's actually <laughs> super interesting. LSU pool also. Yes, yeah, someone is really active here. Okay, so the work has been done, I would say. <laughs> really awesome. Um, and maybe the, very quickly, yeah. the analytics. Um, you've been running me through uh, before the video that we are going to do a follow-up on the calm mechanism later on. But yeah. maybe you, you give me a quick rundown on the, what we see here. Yeah, so we are live on Ethereum for over two years. So mm -hmm. we actually have a lot of existing data and currently we have three pools. We have the original DeFi Plaza pool on Ethereum with the stable Plaza pool on Ethereum, which is specialized in, in stable coin trading. And now we have the new Redix Plaza pool here as well. Mm -hmm. And for each of them, we have uh, its own analytics page. Um, yeah. And we're slowly now building up the analytics for Redix Plaza as well. So we can actually show all the data and we're mm -hmm. working on, especially for Redex Plaza, on analytics on uh, the impermanent loss, so we that we can show in data how yep. much IL we are actually mitigating versus other DEXs on Redex. Mm -hmm. I think that that will be perfect to solidify your USP, actually. Yeah, yeah, we really need to show that, um, but it needs a little bit of time. We've been live for mm -hmm. three days, yeah, so. 
I looked this morning, uh, I think the IL is 0.0002%. Yep. Uh, it's, that is not something to, to be visible on a graph. So mm -hmm. it needs a little bit more time. To yeah, it up. takes some time. So yeah. we, you will you be can back just in a couple of weeks, I would say. See the launch of uh, Redex Plaza here in Nice yep. on our TVL graph. Yes. This spike doubled our uh, TVL. Mm hmm and now the goal is to to grow this even further. Awesome. So I would say we wrap this up here. It's already quite long, but we were going to make sure that uh, we put some chapters in so everybody sees what he wants to see. Um, I'm Christoph from RDX Works. Today here with Timon from DeFi Plaza. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for watching.